Okay, so I'm troubleshooting a, a NAC fault here. It's a ground fault on the system. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take one leg of my meter. I got it set to ohms. And I'm gonna take one leg of it, one leg of my meter here. I'm just gonna touch it. Let's walk that screw. So that's what I'm gonna do with that one leg, okay? And the other leg, I'm gonna go down through here and just touch each individual one of these. And then I'm gonna show you what I find. So I'm gonna show you the meter end of it. With my leaves, I'll drop down and twist it up. The biggest mistake I find with people shooting ground faults is they don't know where to start. So what I'm doing here, I'm going to show you so I can get it in frame. So I'm just putting one leg of it on that screw. Then I'm going down through here. Okay, this is... Excuse me. I've got a bolt on this one. Bolts DC, that is. Okay. You see it's one bolt. That's, uh, that's on the first leg of output number four. Second leg of output number four. It's 18. Okay. Next leg, 1.5. Next leg, this will be output number three, 19. Then we go down here. Whoop, what's that right there? 0 0.004 so no voltage now come over here and go to the next leg it's got 19.20 so that tells me my ground fault is on that guy right there now i'm gonna have to take both of them loose because it's only got a 4.6k ohm resistor and this panel will read that read that ground fault across both legs of it but you can read it with your meter so i'm gonna uh I'm going to take these loose and I'm going to show you that, uh, where I found it at. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to get it focused. It's hard because the lights are harsh in here. Okay. So, I'm going to take that loose. See, my fault is still there. But it also kick output number two fault. Okay, because it's reading open now. Watch what happens as soon as I take this leg off. No fault goes away. So now, one of the things you go, well, how can you find that in this big of a store? You know, you got all these knack circuits. You have to go talk to the manager or whoever's in charge and let them know that you're going to set it off. You're not going to set the whole system off. You're only going to set that one circuit off. So then you take this. It don't have a dead short. I metered across it. It's got, I see my resistor on it. So you can take and land uh, this first leg of it to the aux, aux power uh, plus, and then land the second leg to the aux power minus. Oh, excuse me, I reverse that. The second leg will be plus, and this first leg will be minus. I apologize for that. Uh, and then what will happen is uh, it'll, that one circuit will be going off out in the store so you can find it that way. This one's up in the ceiling, so I'm going to have to get a lift to get over here uh, to be able to find it. But otherwise, I, I wouldn't have known where to go to. It would have been dang near impossible to find uh without take start taking off devices so um that's how i start the troubleshooting process and uh, i'm probably gonna find resistors touching a box or a wire's nicked out there somewhere uh whatever you do don't so i, I found some people that are clever but they're not smart and what they've done is they take that ground lug wire off the power 
That makes your ground fault disappear. Well, the ground fault is still on the wire out there. So there's two or several things that a ground fault can cause. Eventually, if you get a second ground fault, it can cause a short or false alarming um, or damage to the equipment. Secondly, if it's got two paths to ground, it can bring lightning into the system. Uh, so ground faults will bring lightning in there. So don't just disable them and think that you've gotten rid of it. Actually, go out there and troubleshoot it and find it. Uh, and uh, one of the other things that it does, it doesn't necessarily hurt the fire alarm system. I guess potentially can, but um, you can be broadcasting. So if you've got that long length of wire and you got a ground on it, you can be interfering with radar or something like that out there, especially if the system's pulsing. Um, but you can be sending noise out into the to the area. So that's uh, something just to be aware of as well. So do not disable ground fault. Do not disconnect this. Actually go out there and find the ground fault and fix it. So what I'm going to have to do is leave the panel in supervisory and explain to the customer, hey, um, I've got to get a lift out here, so I won't be able to fix it today. It'll be next week. And uh, most customers are cool with that, and you just leave it in trouble. Don't take it out of trouble because I've seen people do that and then forget to come back and fix it. So uh, make sure to leave it in trouble because um, if they're being annoyed by it, they'll call you if you forget it. So uh, please like and subscribe, guys, and I'll keep posting content. This is how you find a ground fault on a NAC panel, a silent night NAC panel. Like I said, please like and subscribe, and any comments are very welcome.